Debbie Birch and I'm here today to talk about um, some upcoming summer programs that Queen Anne's County Library will be holding and I have Julie Rinelli here who's going to tell us about them. Hi Julie, how are Hi, you? Hi Debbie, I'm good. Thanks for inviting me today. So I'm excited because this time of year, I know we did this last year, um, you have your summer reading program coming and then you have some special summer programs. So let's start with the summer reading program which I'm so excited. Tell us about this year's theme. I'm excited too. This year we have a theme of every hero has a story. So we're going to be highlighting our community heroes as well as the super heroes that the Oh wow. Live. And Sneaks the Library Cat has taken on his superhero <laughs> image this year. He is flying through town and we are excited to have him on our bright red t-shirts this year. I love that. Now so tell us if the how the kids can join, what they get when they do join and when they read. Tell us tell us about sure. that stuff. It all starts on Monday, June first and it continues right through the month of July. And they could just come to the library at Centerville or Ken Island and sign up and they'll receive their summer reading folder, their reading packets, they'll have a game board and a reading log. They can come back with coupons and enter for prizes. And nice. um, there's a big calendar of events. So <coughs> lots of things are happening almost every day this summer at the libraries. Okay, so tell us what the kids get when they sign up for the program. When they come in and sign up, they'll receive their folder. It's their reading packet. It has their summer reading log and their okay. game board. And they can come in each um, time they visit the library and receive stickers and also coupons to enter for prizes. And when they finish, everybody receives um, a free book to keep and a certificate of completion. Each branch has a party as a wrap-up to oh, celebrate wow. the kids' accomplishments. Okay. Now you're wearing the shirt. How do the kids get these shirts? In the past, we've sold these shirts and we'll still have them available for sale, but this is the first year that we've had support from our friends group and they have purchased 500 shirts for the first 500 children who come in starting June 1st. So as long as those supplies last, we're oh, going to be wow. giving away these shirts to happy readers. And that'll be at both of the at branches? Both branches, yes. Okay. And then we have some interesting things sitting here. Yes. I'm excited about. So for our rising kindergarten to fifth graders, every time they visit the library, they enter um, a coupon and they'll receive prizes. The, the balls are for the young children, the okay. birth to four, and just for coming to the library <laughs> one time this summer, they'll get a ball. But the prizes we have are, are a lot of fun this year. I just brought a few of them. Baymax, plush, I'm, Lego I'm, superheroes. I'm getting ready to hold up the one that got me all excited. Spirograph. And Spirograph, a classic toy that has a lot of creativity. I it. have not seen this in years. I didn't know they still we made it. We were very excited to see it, too. <laughs> so we have seven or eight kinds of prizes that okay. kids can enter. We have sand buckets. They drop their coupon in, and then we give them a call if they're the lucky winner. Oh, wonderful. So that's the summer reading program. And then you, you all have your regular summer program, and there's a lot going on this year. Tell us a little bit about that. Right. In addition to the independent reading club that they can do at home, they can also come to the library for all kinds of special events events for birth right through age teen um, and we'll be doing the story times and the mother goose on the loose that the young preschoolers are used to as well as some special events for them like a, a fancy Nancy party and a stuffed animal sleepover. I saw you have a I saw that the stuffed animal sleepover and you have an American Girl Club. Um, yes for the elementary students we have many clubs and activities there's American Girl and Junie B. Jones we'll be doing cooking classes we've got our vegetables oh, wow. in the garden so we're doing a gardening club and then we'll use our vegetables in our cooking class this summer. Nice. And then you have a couple special events in June and July. We do have some kind of headliner performers. Mike Rose, the magician, comes with his comedy magic routine and his theme this year is, of course, Heroes. Nice. We're looking forward to that in June as well as a concert from Milkshake Duo. They're incredible. They are well known. It's always a popular concert. Yep. And then we have somebody new coming to us this year, Science Tellers. They'll do a lot of science experiments and work it into a story about heroes and involve the, st the children in the science activities. Very nice. Yeah. And they these programs go on all summer long. They do, all through June and July, and it's all free of charge. So just for being part of our summer reading club, you're invited to participate in all of these events. And I know that the library is getting some help from some partners this year. We do have wonderful support from community partners, and I, I may have forgotten to highlight some of them, but the Master Gardeners are coming to help with that gardening club, and 4-H is coming in several times this summer to help us with cooking nice. and crafts. Oh, wow, yes. okay. Um, and if people want more information on the classes, um, they can call they either can the call branches. either branch, and we also have a new calendar system online this year. So calendar.qaclibrary.org takes you to all of the events and starting okay. June 1st. If anything requires registration in advance to come to a program, that registration will be open online. So you can do it right online? You can. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm excited. And um, 
you know, I hope you get a turnout. I think you you had record breaking last numbers last year. Last summer was a record year. number over fifteen hundred students, and we're we're starting two weeks earlier this year, so we expect even more people will come and find us and learn about the fun of summer reading. Wonderful. Well, Julie, thank you so much for coming in, and I can't wait to hear what's going on for the next season after summer's over. But thank this is a big so one. Thanks, Debbie. We'll see you at the library. All righty.